Hey, my name is Madame Tizani and I graduated from the Royal Academy of Arts in the Netherlands. And I will explain a bit about my graduation project, it's called Mechtec. In my graduation project, I draw from the personal experience coming from Dutch and Moroccan backgrounds, resulting in a unique visual diary that contemplates the interstate layers that encapsulate my identity while showcasing the disparities between these two worlds. In my final presentation, I carefully balance the multiple geographical and cultural elements that, in a thoroughly entangled way, make up my identity. This has resulted in a celebration of complexity that goes beyond all too often seen and heard problematic binaries around minority and majority perspectives. My project exists of a installation and publication, um, but in the installation, uh, what you just see is the final result, but I designed it in a way to take the viewer in, in, a, in a no linear story where I place the images in frames to talk about being framed when it comes to be being considered the minority in society. I try to challenge the viewer with a selection of images to question what they are seeing. Is this the Netherlands or is this Morocco? Because in the past year, in my, during my research, I've noticed a lot that people think that these two worlds are estranged from each other, but actually due to, the, to our shared history, these worlds are actually close to each other than a lot of people assume. This year, I also traveled a lot um, to different places in the Netherlands, but also in Morocco, the place where my parents are from. And here I photographed um, a lot like I had this year to deal with a lot of images uh, that were taken in different on different locations and bringing them together in one project was at times really difficult where I also um, got a lot of help from my peers doing a lot of like intensive editing editing classes of selecting images that um, resulted in a way where I believe this project talks about more about the diasporic eye of uh, the way I see things in, in a geographical manner. This brings me to actually the second part of my project, uh, where I also believe the most um, different aspects of this layered project comes together. And that making this was actually, um, at least, let me say, finding the way, the method of bringing these different worlds uh, as I use the method of collaging text, images, um, my archive, family archive in this way of how can I bring these different elements together. I created this publication um, where I explore the complex concept of identity through my experience, as I mentioned also before, being Dutch Moroccan, having living, having lived outside the traditional confines of identity, I question the its valid, valid, validity and invite the reader to do the same. I use I would use the word vivid imagery and always having uh, this way of having four spreads open. The book allows the reader to create their own journey, experimenting with different combinations of images and breaking free from this linear narrative. This innovative, this innovative approach highlights the multiplicity of identity and emphasizing that it's not a fixed, but rather a fluid and ever-changing concept. Lastly, my vision, my goal with this project is almost, uh, I hope, a testament to my artistic vision and the ability to evoke deep introspection and empathy within the audience. And I also hope that I embarked on a task of capturing the nuances of the migrant experience and shedding light on the challenges and complexities of navigating between multiple cultural identities. And the last thing is also that this whole year, I didn't do it by myself. I had 
a bunch of people who helped me, who believed in the project and also who were willing to share their knowledge with me, where also the collaboration played an important part and I couldn't have done it without um, a lot of people. And therefore I'm also really grateful for that. Looks dope, man. And now we're going to go.